Hi, hello, how are you? Amanda, Saint Artist. We're gonna talk Saint Makeup. Saint Makeup cream-based 3D foundation. One layer is what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna put all the colors on and I'm gonna blend it. And I'm gonna focus on telling how to blend with this method because this is the one that everybody wants to do. But because it's cream, it is an adjustment, so it takes a little bit of time. So let's break this down. We're gonna put the colors on. I'm gonna use a 3D brush. I'm gonna apply with the pointy end and I'm gonna blend with the short end. It's double-ended, everything is handled here. So the first color I'm gonna go into is Astoria. And this is a contour color, which is also foundation. And that's why we're able to do this in one layer is because they're all highly pigmented with 80% pigmentation and they all have that foundational coverage. So we're gonna get all the coverage we want with dimension. And so I'm just putting this on the top of my forehead where we have natural shadowing. We're just mimicking a shadow, accentuating the areas. We have natural shadowing here. So I'm gonna come down, I'm pinching this to make it a line. And I'm gonna come down the top side of my nose here, just like that. And I'm tapping this into my creams. I'm not wiping it because we don't want it to cake on the brush. We just want it on the tips of those bristles. This looks scary, but it all works out, I promise. So it just goes across the forehead on either side of the nose. And then we're gonna go on our cheekbones here. I'm gonna go above the shadow. So feel where your cheekbone is at the top of the ear, bring it down, just like that. Bring it down on both sides. And this will give lift, this will accentuate your cheekbones. It'll, it looks good. We have natural shadowing there and that's all we're doing is mimicking a shadow. I'm gonna take what's left of my brush. I'm gonna go in front of my earlobe and down my jaw on both sides just really lightly, just bringing that down. And that's all the contour I need. And this is gonna help map out. So I'm putting the dark on first. So I'm gonna go into my bronzer here. This is Bella bronzer and I'm tapping it on the end and I'm gonna go on a high point. And that's just where there's more, it's more of a raised area where the sun kisses you first. So the tops of the brows and then right here on the top of my cheekbone above that contour, just right here like that. That's my bronzer. And that's all that I need for my bronzer, okay? So we've mapped out our face. The darkest tones are on there first. So now we're gonna go into our highlight colors. These are our main highlight, which is our truest tone to our skin and our brightening highlight. This is gonna reflect light. So the first color I'm going into is Versailles. And this is going to be my brightening. This is a shade or two lighter than my actual skin tone. And I'm gonna put this in between my brows. I'm gonna pinch it, tap it, and I'm gonna bring this down my nose. Okay, looks scary, but again, this is lighter than my actual skin tone. I'm gonna hit my Cupid's bow, pick a little more up, and I'm gonna go right here on my chin. And this is bringing the light to the center. Light reflects off of this already, so that's all we're doing is mimicking reflected light. I'm gonna grab a little more, and I'm gonna brighten under my eyes. I'm gonna start under this trough here, and I'm gonna bring it up, and then I'm gonna focus it right here. This is gonna give my eye a little bit of lift. And again, under the trough and up, you don't need a lot. This is a soft tissue area, so less is more. And so I'm just bringing this under that trough and then whatever's left on the brush, I can just bring it together. All right, now we're gonna go into my main highlight. I'm using June right now, it's my winter shade. And I'm gonna focus this wherever there's no color placed. I have plenty up here that's gonna blend together. So really I'm just focusing it down here on the beard area. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna bring it down under that, between my two contours, okay? Tapping it in and I'm gonna come right here outside of my smile line so it doesn't gather and crease. And then onto the chin, a little bit with what's left right there. Tap, we're gonna go between those contours and then I'm gonna tap it up right here with what's left and then here and then here and that's it. Okay, we'll put our blush on once this all blends together like magic, just to add a little flushness to the cheeks. But this is the main foundational part. So we're gonna go to the short end. This is how we blend. I put all my dark colors on first and then filled in. Now I'm gonna go to my lighter colors. If I just smeared this together, it wouldn't work. So we're gonna start with the light tone first and we're using a very light touch. Tips of the bristles, the warmth of our skin warms the creams and makes them movable. And so I'm just pushing this up. I have a lot of movement on my cheeks. And so I stipple this so I can blend it without just moving my, my skin around. And again, it's a light touch. You could stipple all of this, but focusing on that main highlight first is key. Don't bring it into the contour. Don't bring the contour into the game, not yet. I'm gonna push this into that brightening right here. And so as you can see, it balances, but I still have that lightness. Same right here, bring it over, blending it all together. 
and I have that dimension of the brightness that blends into that mane that balances the skin tones, but is still giving me that reflected light. I'm going over here to that same mane color. I'm not touching my contour, my bronzer, or my brightening right now. I'm just focusing right here, and then I bring it to the chin, just like that, okay? Now we're gonna go right here to this brightening, right here, we're gonna tap this out and over to meet those darker tones, and that's it. Look at how nice that just blends out. It still looks like my skin, it's reflecting the light, it's doing all the things. Right here, I'm gonna pinch this, and I'm gonna tap this up under my eye, and I'm gonna bring it over to that other brightening I put over here. And I'm bringing this down onto my cheekbone because I don't wanna focus my brightening on the puffy soft tissue because it can accentuate and make my eyes look like they have bigger bags than what they actually are. It's a very easily textured and accentuated area if you don't blend it down onto your orbital bone. Look at how nice that looks. This all just looks like nice balanced skin tone. Now we can get in to the dark colors. I save this last brightening after I've touched my contour and you'll see why. So let's start at the top. I'm gonna take that short end and with little circles, I'm just going to very lightly with the tips of the bristles, circle this out and I'm blending my contour into my hairline. And then I'm pushing that, that, that bronzer, <laughs> I can't keep it straight, my bronzer out into that contour. And I had that brightening, I blended out. And as my contours and my bronzers blend into that brightening, it balances and gives my skin tone up in the middle, which is why I don't need to add a main highlight there. It's just adding more, more product that isn't necessary. And with Saint, less is more. Okay, so I'm gonna take this end and I'm gonna sweep really lightly my brightening out. So I have created dimension, warmth, and brightness and I also have coverage with one layer of makeup on my forehead. That's how easy. This is the easiest makeup you'll use. All right, I'm going to take this end and I'm just going to stipple this up and down on my contour on the sides of my nose. And I'm just blending out that contour and pushing it into my brows where our shadow naturally goes. And then I'm going to come right down here and handle the tip. I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to tap up and down on that brightening right here. And this is just going to blend them together and it's just gonna give my nose this beautiful structure and dimension with one layer. All right, we're gonna go right here and I'm gonna use an angle on that short end and I'm gonna push onto my cheekbone and I'm gonna push onto that contour. And this is how you blend a, when you mark your whole face up, this is how you blend, you work by color. You just blend one color before moving on to the next. I pushed onto my contour, came up to my bronzer, and now I'm just blending this around. Look at that, it went from this to this. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing here, keeping this at an angle, pushing into that cheekbone. Aiming it at the cheekbone is nice because you're not gonna end up coming down too low. It keeps it right where you want it, going into that bronzer and just blending it down just like that. Okay, let's add Let's add some flushness, okay? I'm gonna use the color Rosewood. It is the March shade of the month. They do let the shade of the month go to the following month. So this will be available to the end of April. I'm gonna use that short end. I'm gonna tap on and I'm just going to smile and I'm gonna add this color. It's a really nice spring color. It's warm, but it has a touch of pink. And these colors are all buildable. So you can make this nice and light or you can make it as bold as you want and just keep building to your heart's content. Isn't that such a pretty color? But do you see how it just adds this extra pinky goodness? I mean, that's all a blush does is pinky goodness. It's just goodness. All right, I start up here at the top. I don't like to start on the apples. I like to start above them. That way I can blend it around. I don't have a, a circus circle on my cheek. And I just bring this up. And I bring mine up towards the temple. It just gives you a little bit of lift. And that's it. If you like a if you like a dewy finish, you can set and forget it. So I use Charlotte Tilbury because I have oily skin, and I'm just gonna set it and forget it. And then I'm going to go in with a setting powder because I have oily skin. If you like a matte finish, you can decide how matte you like your makeup. So I'm pushing in to the vanilla dust, which is in my palette, and I'm just gonna tap this on the mid of my forehead where I get oily. Grab a little more. It's really well pressed and very fine. I'm gonna start on the high point where it's a bit tighter. 
and then I'm gonna tap it and I'm gonna bring it down. I don't like to start here because I have large pores and I don't wanna accentuate them by adding too much powder. So I start up here and then I bring it down. If I wanna set under my eye, I then bring it up. I don't like to apply direct powder to large pore areas or easily textured areas like the under eye because it will accentuate fine lines, wrinkles, pores if you add it to those areas first. Make them last and then there's less product on your brush. I'm gonna take this pointy end, I'm gonna go in to my contour and I'm gonna go under my lip here and I'm just gonna add a shadow. Really easy, I'm gonna go right over my cupid's bow to add another shadow. This is gonna give the illusion that my lip has a curl, okay? You see how it just made my lip look a little poutier? I'm gonna take a little bit of brightening and I'm gonna brighten here. Just like that. And this is just a way of accentuating your lips because it adds contrast with the brightness and shadowing with the contour. I'm gonna go in with a lip liner. My favorite is Half Red by MAC. And I'm just gonna line my lips. I'm not outer lining them. I'm just gonna line them. Come up to that Cupid's bow. Like that. Just hug the edge. I love this color. I'm gonna use this month's shade of the month, which is Lolly. It's this beautiful pink gloss color. It's bright pink, but sheer. And I love the way this looks with this lip liner. It's just a pretty berry mauve color. If, the, if you're looking for a good Easter shade, Lolly. It's so good. It's a good spring brunch, going to the vineyard, whatever. This is the color you want for those days. And it's so, look at how pretty that is. And you can add a little bit to the tops of your cheeks here because it's a sheen, it's a gloss. It'll add a little bit of a dewy finish, but a pop of pink that's subtle. And you can just take your 3D brush that I put away and just tap it out just like that. And that's it. That was a quick face. Now I talk a lot and I explain a lot, but that's the point. This is the fastest way to apply your makeup is by putting it all on and blending it all together. And that's it. Have a good day.